Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have recreated the legendary double-slit experiment with single photons, confirming the cornerstones of quantum mechanics and shaking Einstein's physics to its core. What the researchers found supports Niels Bohr's revolutionary principle of complementarity and challenges our concepts of reality. Light cannot be both a wave and a particle at the same time, at least not when we look at it, and the choice of measurement method determines which side of reality becomes visible. The new experiment is more than physics. It is a glimpse into the structure of reality itself. Einstein and Bohr never thought it would be possible to conduct such an experiment with individual atoms and individual photons. Wolfgang Ketterl, Nobel Prize winner and physicist at MIT. Quantum mechanics is one of the most revolutionary and at the same time most puzzling achievements of modern science. It describes the world of the smallest particles with rules that often contradict our everyday experience. What happens in the subatomic realm sometimes seems like magic. Particles such as atoms, electrons, and photons behave contrary to the rules of the cosmos of large phenomena. Quanta that are in several places at once, states that only become real through observation, and information that is transmitted faster than light are downright crazy. Applied to the world of large phenomena, this would mean that stars only exist when someone observes them, and when no one is looking or measuring them, they can disappear or be in a different time or place. A particularly famous example of these bizarre phenomena is the double-slit experiment. It shows that light and matter behave either like waves or like particles, depending on how they are measured, but never both at the same time. This experiment is not only a classic in physics, but also a window into the philosophical depths of reality. Physicists at MIT have recently repeated the double-slit experiment with ultra-cold atoms and single photons. In doing so, the researchers led by Nobel Prize winner Wolfgang Ketterl were able to confirm central principles of quantum mechanics. In particular, Niels Bohr's complementarity principle, which states that certain properties of a system are mutually exclusive, depending on how they are measured. The results once again prove the crazy truth of the quantum world and provide new impetus for the development of quantum computers and secure quantum-based communication systems. The Double Slit Experiment – A Glimpse into Quantum Reality Why does it matter whether a photon passes through a slit or not? The Double Slit Experiment is one of the most famous and at the same time most puzzling experiments in the history of physics. It shows in an astonishing way that light and matter do not behave clearly as waves or particles, but change their nature depending on how they are measured. The experiment was originally conducted with light, and later with electrons, atoms, and even entire molecules, and each time, the same paradoxical truth was revealed. In the classic setup, a beam of light is detected at a wall with two narrow slits. Behind it is a screen on which the light strikes. If no measurement is taken, an interference pattern emerges, a typical wave pattern. But as soon as one tries to track the path of a single photon, the pattern disappears. The light then no longer behaves like a wave, but like a particle passing through a specific slit. Recent experiments at MIT have retested this principle with ultra-cold atoms and single photons. In the process, the so-called which path information was examined more precisely. The researchers showed that even attempting to determine the path of a particle destroys the interference pattern, even if the measurement is not completed. In plain language, this means that the mere possibility of measurement is enough to influence the behavior of the system. Similar experiments, such as the quantum eraser experiment or the delayed choice experiment, confirm these findings. They show that the decision of whether or not to measure can even be made retrospectively and still influence the result. This once again turns the classical notions of time, causality, and reality upside down. The double slit experiment is thus not only a physical model, but also a philosophical tool that shows that in the quantum world, observation is not passive, it is creative. Bohr's principle of complementarity, two sides of one truth. Niels Bohr, was a brilliant thinker who explored the boundaries between science and philosophy, 
and he was one of the best physicists of his time. His principle of complementarity, formulated in the 1920s, laid the foundations for quantum mechanics. It states that certain properties of a physical system, such as wave and particle nature, are mutually exclusive, but both are necessary to describe the system completely. The type of measurement determines which side becomes visible. Bohr recognized that classical concepts such as location and momentum cannot be determined simultaneously in the quantum realm. This insight was later mathematically substantiated by Werner Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. But Bohr's approach went a step further. He saw complementarity as a fundamental property of nature, not as a technical limitation, but as an expression of deeper truth about the nature of the world. Let's take another look at the double slit experiment. When you measure which slit a photon passes through, you obtain particle information, but the interference pattern disappears as a result of the measurement process. If you refrain from measuring, the pattern appears, and with it, an indication of the wave behavior of the basic building blocks of the world. Both aspects are real, but cannot be grasped at the same time. Bohr argued that measurement not only provides information, but also helps to shape reality. This view was revolutionary at the time, and was heavily criticized by another physics genius, of all people. Albert Einstein did not conduct research on the small scale, but on the large scale, and he firmly believed in an objective, measurable reality, independent of the observer. Bohr, on the other hand, believed that the quantum world only makes sense in the context of measurement. Einstein described the relativity of the known forces in the universe. Bohr described reality as not absolute, but relational. This means that nothing exists in isolation, but only gains meaning in relation to something else, be it space and time, particles and observers, or cause and effect. In such a world, nothing is fundamentally absolute, measurable, or scientifically reliable in terms of duration, but it can appear that way if we want it to. The latest experiments at MIT impressively confirm Bohr's principle. Even the attempt to simultaneously capture wave and particle properties leads to failure. The measurement itself determines which property becomes visible, and the measurement fundamentally changes the system in the process. Bohr's principle of complementarity is thus far more than a mere physical law. It opens a philosophical window into the nature of reality. Today, we are witnessing how both astrophysics and particle physics are reaching their limits. If the world at the smallest scale is not only difficult to measure, but fundamentally mysterious, then the same is true of the world at the largest scale. This could be precisely why so many recent discoveries in the cosmos present astronomers with unsolved mysteries. And what does this mean for our reality? Perhaps that it is not as fixed and absolute as we thought, but rather a network of relationships between perspectives and interactions. Space, time, matter, all of these could be less substance and more of a dynamic network of relationships that only take shape when the observer encounters the world. Our reality would thus not be something rigid, but something that is created anew at every moment. Quantum mechanics as technology, computers, communication, and security. Can you imagine a quantum smartphone? You hold it in your hand and it connects you not only to the people on Earth, but also to information that exists in multiple places simultaneously and possibly throughout the entire universe. You have a device that sends messages before you even write them. It not only stores your data, but also holds possible futures for you and helps you turn them into reality. As crazy as it sounds, some principles of the quantum world point in exactly this direction. If particles can assume multiple states at the same time, why not our technologies? Perhaps we are on the cusp of an era in which computers no longer consist of circuits, but of entangled states that operate beyond space and time. And if our reality is truly relational, then even a quantum smartphone would be more than just a technical toy. It would be a tool that shows us that reality is always co-created, that we ourselves help shape the future through our decisions, which we then call up. The principles of quantum mechanics, confirmed by experiments such as the double slit experiment, are no longer just the subject of philosophical debates, but a driver of innovation in computer science, communication, and security. 
In February 2025, Microsoft unveiled its new Majorana 1 Quantum processor amid global media interest, heralding a technological milestone in the era of scalable quantum computing. The launch was more than just a product release. It was a preview of a future in which fault-tolerant quantum computers are within reach. Majorana 1 is based on so-called topological qubits, which are particularly stable against interference due to their physical structure. At its heart is a novel material called a topoconductor, which for the first time enables the digital control of these qubits on a chip. The goal is to combine up to 1 million qubits on a single processor in the future, an order of magnitude that would far exceed that of classical supercomputers. Unlike classical computers, which work with bits and a system of zeros and ones, quantum computers use so-called qubits, which can be in superimposed states, or in other words, they can represent zero and one at the same time. This property allows complex calculations to be performed in parallel and problems to be solved that are inaccessible to conventional computers. Quantum computers can simulate chemical molecules and thus develop new drugs more quickly or design materials with tailor-made properties. They can facilitate logistical processes, which in practical terms could mean optimizing supply chains in real time, controlling traffic flows more efficiently, or dynamically adjusting production processes. Lightning-fast decryption of cryptographic systems would render existing security protocols obsolete and at the same time necessitate new quantum secure encryption. The launch of Majorana 1 is part of the U.S. research program US2QC, which stands for Underexplored Systems for Utility-Scale Quantum Computing and aims to develop scalable quantum solutions for real-world applications. At the same time, companies such as Google, IBM, and Fraunhofer IIS are working on their own approaches, but Microsoft's focus on topological qubits could ultimately prove decisive. Quantum mechanics is transforming cryptography in two ways. On the one hand, quantum computers threaten classic encryption methods because they can crack the RSA algorithm in a short time. On the other hand, quantum physics itself offers new forms of encryption. Quantum cryptography, based on physical principles, can set new security standards. Quantum key distribution, in which information is transmitted via photons, would immediately detect an intruder. Even the smallest changes to the system that do not originate from the system itself are enough to trigger a blockade. The system could reliably identify and exclude the source of interference and close the security gap in an unimaginably short time so that similar intruders would no longer stand a chance. The fact that these technologies are more secure than many fear has now been confirmed by recent experiments at MIT. Bohr's principle of complementarity is of central importance here because it shows that measuring a quantum state irrevocably changes the system. And it's precisely this property, the fact that wave and particle properties cannot be measured simultaneously, that protects the integrity of the transmitted information. What does the new quantum reality mean for our everyday lives? The new quantum mechanics challenges our worldview. The idea that particles only become real through observation, that information is created through measurement, and that cause and effect are not always clear, contradicts our notions of a fixed and objective world. In the quantum world, observation is not passive, but active. It shapes what is. Quantum mechanics further shows that knowledge consists not only of measurement, but also of interpretation. Concepts such as science, truth, objectivity, and knowledge must be rethought. In a world where even time no longer flows unambiguously, science becomes more of a dynamic observation than a reliable absolutism. For open minds, Every insight from quantum physics can become an adventure and offer previously unrecognized possibilities. We may never be able to grasp this world scientifically with certainty, but only learn about it again and again. A new truth may reveal itself in the next moment. Click the subscribe button now. The best videos are yet to come.